Hi there. Welcome to VSF Recovery Team. Well, it's time to try it again. We, uh, we have the trailer hooked up. We're loaded a little heavier this time. We got the uh, cheap trail jeep with us also. We'll see if the top kick is fixed. See if it's ready to go, ready to haul the trailer. It's only a short trip this time. It's only about 10 miles down to uh, Dresser, uh, our club uh, wheel-in playground. And uh, this one's called Midwest Weekend. Uh, it's open to any members of uh, the Midwest Four-Wheel Drive Association or the Minnesota Four-Wheel Drive Association. So short weekend, short distance to go. Uh, hopefully everything will go all right. We'll keep you updated. Well, the top kick made that trip with no trouble. But of course, like I said, it was a short trip. It was only 10 miles there and 10 miles back. But it pulled the trailer just like it's supposed to. But of course now we have a mad rush to get ready for our next trip, a big trip. In case you haven't caught on, we're planning a trip to Trail Hero. Yeah, that's in uh, southwestern Utah, the Sand Hollow area. So we've been uh, working like crazy uh, here at home trying to get ready for the trip. Of course, with the new flatbed, that means we need some box storage on the truck. So we got one of the side boxes on, and we got another one over here painted and ready to put on. We still have to put it on. Um, we've uh, made some sideboards for the trailer so we can store some gear in that open space underneath the camper on the deck of the trailer. We still have to fix our spare tire mount on the trailer, but we did get another spare tire to replace the one that we uh, had to put on when we had the blowout. And of course, we have to do a whole bunch of work to the wrecker. Well, one of the things we have to do is replace the light bar. Um, for those of you who have been asking, uh, yes, we uh, dropped a branch on it on a recovery. Backed into a dead tree, branch dropped right on top of it. Uh, we were trying to get unstuck, and as uh, soon as the wrecker caught traction, we backed right into a tree, branch came crashing down, broke our light bar. We have another light bar to put on, uh, donated from a uh, fan. It's not quite the same, but uh, it'll have to do. Personally, I like the taller square version. I think it's more appropriate for the square body wrecker, but we'll do with what we got, right? We also have to do a lot of maintenance to the wrecker, and uh, really go over it to make sure that there's nothing that's about to break on us. Um, kind of like you do to a stock car before a race, something like that. Seat cover is also painted up an old ammo box that we have uh, that we're going to carry fluids in, uh, extra fluids. Uh, that'll go on the deck of the trailer underneath the camper. We did pick up a bunch of supplies for the wrecker. We got a Oil change we're going to do, a new air filter. Uh, we picked up a starter. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, a few years ago when I got the wrecker stuck one time and uh, it wouldn't start, we had to tow it back to camp. I had to take the starter apart, clean it, dry it out. Well, I noticed at that time that the brushes were really wore down and uh, the starter was in need of replacement. And I hate to say it, but that was a few years ago. Luckily, it's been starting since then, but I don't want to take the chance when we're out in Utah that it might not start. So that's what's been going on here at uh, the BSF Recovery Team uh, home, ranch, garage, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're in a mad rush because we only got a few weeks left before we head out to Utah. So on our trip out to Utah, uh, we hope to go live a couple of times. Uh, we may not be posting videos on YouTube as regular as we normally do. We will try and go live both on YouTube and on the BSF Recovery Team Facebook page uh, during our trip out there. So be sure to look us up and follow us on the BSF Recovery Team Facebook page also. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there, and maybe we'll see you in the woods.